Okay, so hello everybody and welcome back to Link to the Past Randomizer. This is technically part four, but we're starting a new run. The first three episodes were an entire Triforce run. This time we're going to be doing a Defeat Ganon randomizer run, but this time I've got some more settings here that you'll see in just a second. All right, the Japanese thing. I, th I can only fit four characters before it goes into the last name. Pika. Yeah. Just call me Pika. Mr. Mr. Chu, first name Pika. But yes. I will be playing as the Harvest Moon Farmer with a, a palette randomizer and enemies randomized a bit as well. So yes, before we go back to Mineral Town, we're gonna take a little vacation in Hyrule and try and defeat Ganon. He has a name, it's Pete. You didn't sp you spelt Pete, P-E-A-T. <laughs> Anyways, first item, good luck, good luck. It's a blue rupee. That's not good. That's not good at all. You interrupted me playing Elder Scrolls Online. There, this place looks very purple. Very, very purple. We should go see my uncle. Blue Rupee the fit the outfit. All right. The water is very gross looking. Oof, it looks amazing. But yeah. This is officially canon in my Friends of Mineral Town run. Before I go see my wife, we're gonna go, we're just gonna deal with some Hyrule stuff. Dear God, eye cancer. What the? Are you are are you serious? Are you are you serious? Th these things are in the sewer. God. This enemy randomizer is gonna be something different, ain't it? All right, now I got a sword. Uh, right. Let's push the wrong goddamn button. Hero at by day, farmer at night. No, you can't farm at night. That's dangerous. You'll run out of health. Also, the chests are a different color, too. Another blue rupee! Alright. I gotta just get used to the controls a little bit again. Man, Link to the Past is a fun game. I know a lot of people like the music, but... I, I, I think at this point in my... I, I'm kind of really sick of Link to the Past is soundtrack a little bit. Your hearts are a different color. Yep, I set, the, I set it to be yellow. Because I could. I don't know. When I say that, I don't mean it in like a negative way either. I just kind of mean like, like, I don't know, something about the SNES sound font. Kind of, it kind of gives me a headache when I, when I hear too much of it. You can only, you only can't mine at night. All right. This dirt is purple. What happened to Hyrule? Any plans to do the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon randomizer? Uh, maybe at some point I'll try. I, I mean, I could try that on my own, for God's sakes. Is it... I'm gonna die. <laughs> right away, because I was looking at chat like an idiot. Sorry, Link, but your princess is on another planet. But there's a mystery dungeon randomizer? Like, how far along is it? Okay, with that. Anyways... We gotta pay attention to the farm work. I can die this time. When you die in Hyrule, you die in real life. Can't open that up. All right. Lag. These guys shouldn't be here. Maybe this was a bit of a mistake. Ouch, you jerk. Weird? I might try my- I'll try my best to keep track of what chests you have open. Okay, uh, right, first of all, I keep forgetting. I have this damn tracker, but I don't use it. <laughs> I always forget. Okay, there we go. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Randomizer was made by a friend. I think it's done. It might be hard to find online. Want me to hook you up? Sure! I mean, I know people are gonna say, but what about Mystery Dungeon with Andrew? And... I'll remind you all, we, we have- we did try to get together and do that again, but I can only get- I only, like, get a chance to record with Andrew and do stuff, like, maybe, like, once a month if I'm lucky. I don't know if we can really just commit to, uh, 
commit to a full mystery dungeon playthrough at this point. Like, cause when we when we first started re recording, like Andrew didn't even have a job. He was still in high school. What the? Okay, fake master swords out here. Desert. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go back in there now and change the thing out. Single heart piece is fine. Hey, buddy, I can hook you up with a famous YouTuber. Famous, please. Haven't you heard? I'm just a nobody. All right. You can complete a run and upload it when it's done if you want to. Yeah, but the problem with that is that it would, doing it with Andrew that way, it would probably take, like, more than a year just for us to beat the main story then. And it's arrows. Wonderful. Let's go to Kakariko Village. Complete a run of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, let's just do that in, the, in an afternoon. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I might just, like, I think with the, it might be for the best if I was recording with Andrew. Like, we did Death Road to Canada the other day. And that was fun. But that's the kind of thing that, like, I can play whenever. Like, maybe at this point I should just do, I should just do Mystery Dungeon on my own or something. And people will be mad and be like, man, this just isn't the same. I want a refund. And I walk right into the green guy. I don't know why I thought I could get around him. I'm not used to ta- I'm not used to enemies. I'm used to farming. Okay, now I'm actually here. If you play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, play Sky. Two deaths in ten minutes. Nice. I'm looking at the chat. I'm a farmer. I'm not prepared for this. Everything's purple. Do you know what that- do you know what that does to the brain? Probably does something. Also, these trees are looking extra, extra green. Sure, blame us. Yeah, I will. What, is that water? Jesus, this is wacky. Absolutely wacky. Mystery Dungeon Randomizer is only compatible with Sky. Oh, it's not out for it's not out for red and blue? I just assume red and blue would come red or blue would come first, honestly. The whole palette is green. <laughs> I died again like a fucking idiot. It was gonna be fun. Christian, I watch Link to the Past streams all day long, 24-7. And I'll have you know that they played much better than you. I can get to Kakariko Village, right? It's no problem. Is this an inverted randomizer? It's not inverted, it's just, uh... It randomized- this time we randomized the pallets. I'm playing as the Harvest Moon Farmer. Items are- items, of course, are randomized. Enemies are also random, apparently. Can you get there without dying? Well, maybe if I stopped looking over at chat and actually looked at the game. That, and it is the start of the stream, so my glasses are fogging up because it's still it's so goddamn hot. I can get there, don't worry. You just put a transparent overlay of chat on the game you can do it at the same time. Let's see what's on the shelf. Oh, there's a sword here whenever- I can get the Master Sword whenever I get the, uh, Pegasus Boots. Nice. You didn't need to get the Pendants. All you had to do this whole time was just ru rustle a little shelf. Hot in Canada? People- everyone thinks I'm lying about that. Everybody just thinks I live in an igloo. Canada is hot. Cartoons told me so. All they do is sit around Tim Hortons all day saying, Oh, I'm Canadian, eh? What you got for me, pal? Fine, I didn't want your money anyway. Okay, I need like a hundred rupees for that dude. All right, let's go to the big money chest. Big money chests. Canada's only snow, you liar. Is man in this game or not? If some, if, if, if the team behind this would make mana playable, 
that would make up for uh, Mana's new design, which I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Let's just open this. First, let's get her hopes up. Big money. Big random money. Oh, that's the gloves? That is absolutely big money. Medallion. 50 rupees. Okay, that's not terrible right now. Okay, I can get the bottle. That's not... That's good. I don't have a bomb, though, so I can't blow open that wall. What up? Use the tracker, lol. I just opened the chests! Calm down! Like, Jesus. I have been using it. He opened the chest, and, and, and 5, 0.5 seconds have passed. Gotta let him know how stupid he is. Alright, where's the gloves here? There it is. And, okay, that's pretty much it, right? Just go pork Zelda. <laughs> How dare you. Um, when, when, we, when we play Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town after this, well, uh... The, the blue clothes. It changes my handkerchief. A little bit. Okay, that's not bad. Where is the clothes, for God's sakes? I can't... Glasses fogged up. There we go. Okay, pretty nice. Pretty nice start. You have to mark it before you open them. <laughs> yeah, but when we, um, all of the character designs have officially been revealed for uh, the Mineral Town remake, so uh, these guards are really just uh, harassing that boy. We'll take a look at that. Not a big fan of uh, new mana. Ten arrows. I'm sad that I lost the old file that let you randomize the game without using the website. The old randomizer was nicer. In some aspects, it didn't force you to go through the different levels of the sword, and nail, and glove. You might just find the highest one right away. Oh. They don't have- they don't let you get the old versions of the randomizer? It's kind of weird. Are we gonna play as Link in Harvest Moon? No, no one cares enough about Harvest Moon to mod it. That's the map button. All right, okay. The gloves open up a few things, don't they? I don't really check it thoroughly, so who knows? Cause I noticed that um, their about page doesn't have all the options listed for some things you can do with the randomizer. So I was a bit confused on that. Come on. I care more about Harvest Moon than Zelda, but I don't know how to mod it. Mystery. Alright. There's some chests here. And the mushroom, whatever that is. Let's see what that is. Maybe we'll start the Harvest Moon modding community. Okay. Free heart container ain't bad. Anything else up there? Kaizo Harvest Moon. Oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. Have you seen Andy? He was out looking for a prized ether medallion. How do you make a Kaizo Harvest Moon? Like, do you just make every item ship for one gold? The whole world's against the farmer. They're giving, they're giving, they're shortchanging them. And it's ten arrows. Wonderful. Crops take fifty days. <laughs> they die. They die before they can grow. You, you start the game with a hundred gold lumber on your farm, and everyone hates you every single day until you get rid of it. It drops gold and wood onto your farm every day. None of the women want to date you. God. Harvest Moon, too real edition. God. It's so weird how there's just random Master Swords. Let's see what, um... Let's see what's in here. I can't get to it until after I beat, uh, the wizard. What's his name? Aghanim? Okay, it's just bombs. I'm sure I'll probably find bombs before I need to get to those. What's with the Golden Lumber and Harvest Moon? Why do people hate you? What is it, and how is it a thing? I don't know, it just- it seems like you're just being an asshole, basically. You're showing off that you- you use gold to build things. This guy's a zombie. 
He turns Rick into a harem master, marrying all the girls before you can. Okay, I don't have I don't have the lantern, so yep, can't see anything. And there's just a random Beamos there. Don't don't ignore that. There was a sword near the Saw guys. Oh, that was just a fake master sword. Fake master sword is a random enemy, apparently. Let's check the sanctuary. We're just kind of going for the easy spots right now. Then we'll see if we can do a dungeon. I could get to the desert, but I don't. Ha I don't have the book, so I can't do the dungeon there. I need the arrow, bow and arrow, to do the uh, map. Oh, I get a map of Hyrule Castle. That's what it is. There's no golden. There's no golden lumber equivalent in Stardew Valley, so it's clearly too foreign for my mind to comprehend. Did you clear escape yet? Oh, this is open mode, so you don't. I can't go into the sewers without a without a lantern. Well, I guess technically there is still things in the castle I could go do and right could go and do right now by that logic, but yeah. We'll just go. We'll just keep taking a little look see around, because clearly I'm bad and I keep getting hit by things. Well, then again, a lot of the enemies in Link to the Past, like they do an absurd amount of damage. And having them shuffle to be early in the game can be a pain in the butt. That came out of the grass, did it? Um... Those big, big caves. Purple water. Hyrule cat- or, Hy like, all of uh, Hyrule here is just a colored like a grape, ain't it? It's just grape juice everywhere. Floating skull. Well, in open mode, they changed it, I'm pretty sure. So, like, you can't go in the, uh... Jesus. I'll check out the castle in a little bit. Really a snake with Zelda. Picasso purple. Um, can I? I don't have bombs, so I can't do that. Why is there just a random fire bar? That's so weird! Oh good, who's texting me? Who is texting me? Right now. I just started streaming. Oh, this laggy spot here. Doesn't help the grass seems to slow you down a bit. This isn't normal. No, this is extra normal. Don't text me right now. Ugh. Wait, can this guy's bombs blow anything up? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die before that happens. Yeah, I died. All right. You insist? I'll try going to the castle. You better answer your girlfriend, Trevor. Trevor's too busy to text me today. What does Harvest Moon Guy turn into in the Dark World, though? Maybe he just turns blue. Well, I guess we'll see when we get there. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna finish this in a single sitting, let's be real. Oh, okay, just, just random even knows there. Alright, let's try to do the sewer escape then, if I can do that. Right, first, I'm gonna take a little look-see over here, and see who is texting me. It's my friend Luke. He's texting me- he, he texted me a Twitter link. What, what is this? I need to see it. What, what's so funny that I, you needed to share with me right now, Luke? I knew, oh my. Oh my! Wow, that was something worth sharing, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know how to describe what I'm looking at, what, what he just sent me. Um... I, I... 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 I don't even know how to describe it! Anyways, what am I doing? Just go to the damn castle. 
I didn't need to go there. Um, it was like, what the fu- fucking Stalvos there, come on! Um, it was, I guess from Persona 3, turned into a toaster gun in some FPS. I, 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 I don't even know how to describe it. It was just like a little Shibi Igus gun in the shape of a toaster that fired toast. What the fuck? I don't know. That was worth stopping to see though, apparently. Toaster waifu. Okay, I'm definitely good without a link to that link. I got sent it on my phone. Go Google it yourself. I think the tweet just said a new way to toast your enemy. Search that on Twitter if you want. How do I get underground here? Burn my bread. <laughs> Why the chain chopper here? Throne room. Yeah, but I gotta go down here too. There's items. See? There's a chest right there. And it's a red rupee. If I kill this guy, I guess I'll... Uh... This is a dark world, fella. God, what if I get to an air a room where there's a stealth house? How do I kill it without bombs? Hang on, can this hit? No, it cannot. Good. Worth. I guess I still, I still need rupees for the uh, King Zora flippers. Clipping issues, lol. Ah. What have I gotten myself into? I gotta say, the inside, it looks pretty creepy, though. It's pretty fitting of a bait. What the? These enemies, I swear. Man, that was a whole lot of waste of nothing. No chest over here, right? This is just a quick short- yeah, it's just a quick way to jump back down. It shows how much I know know this game inside out. As in, I don't. The doctor's basement. Is this where he keeps the mermaid? This thing. Five arrows! Alright, big money time. Red Rupee! That's small money time. I'll take the 300. Okay, buddy. You're on thin ice here. Is it not damaging him? There we go. Because it's making the sound. I thought it was damaging him from the front as well. Hmm. All right, let's go save the princess. You're gonna play Binding of Isaac again. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna start that over on when the new expansion comes out. All right. Something is missing, I need the big key. This fella got it. Ooh, look at that look on his face. The hammer! That's okay. Is the princess just mana? Maybe I should just let my my character die here. If I could find an enemy to hurt me, to end my misery. Let's see. God, that run animation sometimes. Wacky, I tell you. Wacky! You know, speaking of, uh, I guess his sister Metis there, if that's, not, if that's how you say it, I actually have a figurine of her. I just thought I'd throw that out there to make people jelly. I also have a Labrys one. Get out of here. This is not... yet. 
Oh god, he got hit so hard his eyes popped out of his head. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Alright, let's try going to the sewer, but I'm pretty sure it won't work. You weebs and your waifu figurines. Oh, I'm sorry. I was unaware that we weren't allowed to have hobbies in your presence. And it's pitch black. And I can't get out. Yeah. Well, that's good. Let's gonna have to do that now, yeah. <laughs> Just save warp. You say after I do that? Now, where could I head now? What do you think? What should I do? Currently, my items... Hang on a second, let me just step outside here. Uh, I got the gloves, hammer, and medallion. One of the medallions, the flash medallion. Kakariko has more stuff to get. Oh, you know what? I'm just realizing I never went to the room... Uh, the blinds hideout house. Why didn't I do that? Why wasn't anyone yelling at me to go do that? Death Mountain has a lot. I can't go in Death Mountain. I don't have a lantern. Dang it. So let me take the other way around. Clearly, I don't remember my way around Hyrule very much. I made a snarky remark about you not going there. That's a fish. Can I even hit it? I don't think I can. I'm just gonna ignore the fish. I can't use my fishing rod in these waters. No siree. I'm seeing some random glitchiness happening. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I already checked out the forest and we got that stuff. Alright, let's go in this dang rice already. I'm just some dude. This is Blind's Hut. It's a very green place. Alright, here we go. Big money time. Maybe I can get a freaking bomb, by the way. The, fl the flippers. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Red rupee. Bombs, okay. And a boomerang. Alright, well, that's out of the way. Let me go and click the damn stuff. Wait, I got the red boomerang. That's the level. That's. Yeah. Huh. Doesn't it? So that's how it works. Uh, right, I didn't check the hammer. What else did I. Anything else there I can check? I don't think so. Anyways. Boom time. And now everyone's discussing Persona waifus, because I brought up the Igus toaster gun. Another heart container, that's nice. You'd all be extra jelly if you saw my big uh, Yukiko figurine. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay, right, I can use the bomb over here. Is it the same Yukiko figurine I also have? That's enough information for me to answer that question, I'm sure. Alright. Big money. Absolute big money right now. Oh, bottle! That's, I can go right to the kid now. Nice. He'll give me what the butter butterfly net is. And it comes with a potion. Yeah, blue potion there. It's nice.
You know, speaking of Persona, I, I, I mentioned this on Twitter the other day. But when I uh, was playing Q2 the, uh, a couple days ago... Is it... No, it doesn't, has it even been a couple days at this point? I don't remember, but anyways, we'll find the Butterfly House kid. Let's get him first. Give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. Ah, oh, it's a red rupee. Okay. Whatever, I got flippers. Uh, but yeah, I was playing Pers Persona Q2, and... My 3DS died. <laughs> like, it just shut off. And then continued to shut off over and over, and I was really upset. Okay, you're, you're, you're a little too fast. I'm gonna have to use this boomerang like I, like uh, you actually should. Did you manage to repair it? Um, here's the thing. I was supposed to get into that. Um, I, I think I might be able to fix it by replacing the battery. But here's the problem. I couldn't find anywhere that sells the batteries. And uh, here's the thing with Amazon is uh, they won't let me buy things from them. For months now, I've been trying, I keep trying to like make an Amazon account and buy things, but they refuse to let me. eBay. Yeah, I could try that. I've had bad experiences with eBay, to be honest. It really shied me away, it really shied me away from that. But for whatever reason, Amazon just straight up refuses to let me buy anything. Like every time I try and uh, like add payment information or whatever, it's just like your account has been detected as suspicious, and we are therefore locking your account. Please contact support to fix this. And I contact support, and they never, ever, ever get back to me. What do you live? Do you live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere? No, I live in Canada. God dang it, this is a bad spot for that fella to be there. And, uh, yeah, just Amazon won't let me buy things from them, and it's very annoying, because that would be the easiest place to get, uh, to get a new battery for my 3DS, so I was just kind of like, all right, you know what, fuck it, maybe I can fix this down the line, but whatever. I just went out and I bought a new, uh, a new 2DS XL. Because it's like, I want, I, I, I want to keep playing video games on the thing. I was having fun. Maybe I can fix the thing. I hope so, because it was the the one that broke. It was the limited edition Majora's Mask one. You know, the one that pe the ones that people bought right away and tried to sell on eBay for like almost a thousand bucks. Those ones. I got super lucky when I found that, and I loved it so much, and it died. Ah. Oh. I got a 2DS XL too. You know, what I found weird is with. Holding the 2DS XL, I'm gonna see if I can find some hearts in here, god dang it. Actually, maybe talking to, to Zelda I think heals you. Let me do that right quick. Yeah, Zelda heals you. Aha, I was ahead of you. Canada is the middle of nowhere. Canada's not a real place, that's why Amazon won't let me buy anything. Yeah. What I find weird about the 2DS is that, like, the screen size for the XL is exactly the same, but, like, the rest of the, the the other parts of the console are technically smaller, so it's like it's these two big screens wrapped around like small parts that hold the buttons, and it's like whoa, this is weird. Hit the princess with a sword. I have the purple galaxy new 3DS XL. Okay, there you go. God, I'm not even like attempting to do proper combat. I just keep trying to rush over to it. Really? Even the hammer isn't like... I feel like that would at least damage him a little bit. Ah, oh, whatever. I like my Pokemon Red and Blue 3DS. Yeah. Does anyone else also find that, like, the original 3DS models, like, they're so tiny when you try and look at them now. Oh my god, this guy just... Can I... Thank you. Hmm. What the f... <laughs> How does this enemy randomizer even work? <laughs> Maybe you just have weak eyes from using the dark mode so much. Are you talking to me? Yeah. 
Yeah, the yeah the older 3DSs feel uncomfortable to hold. Like I still have like the the tiny blue one I have I bought at launch, but like when I tried to when I tried to hold it, like not only did it just feel weird, but like I'm pretty sure that thing is gonna fall apart like any day now. It just did not feel like it was uh all together, which would make sense because like what the 3DS came out like what 2011 2012, and I bought it like the first week it came out. You know, remember when it costs? Remember when it costs like almost three hundred dollars? Probably more here in Canada. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it'd be nice if this thing could die. There you go. Can't get through that without Pegasus boots. I just now realized that, like an idiot. I'm on my third 2DS, 3DS now. It's kind of a, I'm really annoyed that my 3DS had to die now of all times. Because, like, I put off playing 3DS games for such a while, and then I get super into Persona Q again, and then I'm like, okay, you know what, I want to start some other 3DS RPGs. These are, th th these are fun. And then, like, it just dies, and I'm like, and it's like, wow, I really want to play, I really want to keep playing my 3DS right now, now that I don't have it anymore. Where should I go right now? I, f I still have a single bomb, so... I can go to where the ice, uh, the ice rod cave. I don't know if there's, I can go, actually I can go enter the desert. Why well, haven't been trying to go there? The people who watch me to see me complete things are going to be very upset that I'm not playing, being an optimal farmer. Da da da. Get away from me, B. Oh, those shadow things. That's what that is. What have I come to? I just walk... I'm just watching you walk past available treasures. It's fun. Okay. I see how it's gonna be. Flexing your superiority. I'll have you know I beat this game 10,000 times on my Samsung Smart Fridge. I'm waiting for 5DS. Man, I tell you, I like the Switch and all, but is anyone else kind of, was anyone else kind of sad that like we don't get two screens anymore? Do I need the black? Oh wait, no, I can go right to the dark world. Can I? 5D's dual time. <laughs> I was kind of sad when, like, I love the Switch. I honestly really, really like the Switch, but, like, it's just kind of sad to me that, like, yeah, we don't have the two screens anymore. I'm a puppy dog! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I have become good boy. But I can't use my hammer because I need the moon pearl. But now I can't, I can't go back in the portal. All right. <laughs> okay. Cute pupper. Soft lock. Puppy lock. Puppy percent speed run. Game over. Alright. Puppy percent. It's not hard to do that when you can save and quit. Can swim, don't forget about that, Christian. Even though I clearly have been. <laughs> My problem with Switch is not enough ports from DS. That's another thing I'm somewhat concerned about, is like, in the future, a lot of great, like, DS and 3DS games, like... We're just not gonna get- how are we gonna get them? How, how are they ever gonna, like... Sure, it's- it, they can definitely port some of them, but like... It might require a bit of work. Like, the stuff that heavily relied on, like, two screens and a touch screen, like, what are they gonna do about that in the future? Like, the Wii U kind of had... I'm trying to get to the desert, for fuck's sakes. But anyways, I should probably go over here as well. Let me do that. Because I have a bomb now. I needed a bomb to do this. They made the world ends with you on Switch. That's true, but... Don't forget, the world's end with you. They also ported that to mobile first. And the, the mobile version was, uh, what they based the Switch port on, if I'm not mistaken. No Pokemon Ranger remakes. Yeah. 
stuff like that. Like, it's kind of sad to think about that, isn't it? The world ends with you, non-DS ports are kind of meh. Well, yeah, that's kind of true, because the game was designed around the DS. So that's kind of exactly the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Dear Christian, I am a deposed Amazon Prime. I need your help. All of my deals are locked behind a firewall. If you will supply me with the Moomin pillows to bribe IT to unlock it, I will share millions of dollars in savings with you. I'm sure you will. Oh, come on! No, 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 that's not fair! No, that's not fair! It's too powerful! Come on! I don't have the magic for my medallion! <laughs> piece of heart anyway. Your time was okay, nice. I, okay, I get I guess I got it. Get wrecked. That is that is some bull right there. <laughs> bull. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter how many times I'm dying, no. Cause I'm having fun. Remember, that's all that matters. What the Slug boy! Man, I don't even, like, know some of these enemies even are, because you, like, never see them. But what's another, like, good DS game that, like, will be difficult to port? But yeah, I was saying earlier, like, the Wii U kind of did, like, a DS virtual console thing. I never actually got to try any of those. How were they? Because, like, I know they couldn't, like, the way they did it on the Wii U, like, it wouldn't, there's no way that would work with every game. Any ROM hack box today? Nah! I don't want to do that, like, every stream, and then I get really sick of it fast. Maybe next time. Like, I just want to relax today and play Harvest Moon. And this. Well, I consider it relaxation, but I'm not playing optimal enough. That means I'm not trying hard enough. Well done, let us have a cup of tea. DS Zelda game. Yes, you're right. The DS Zelda games. But, like, in some cases, there are, like, fan-made things... For that like um I, I believe i mentioned this before but um for for phantom hourglass P i believe there's rom there's like uh fan made patches like if you were to use an emulator you can make it so that link can be controlled without the touch screen all the touch screen shenanigans so like there's still ways to like play them but not not officially like when i say this i mean like uh, like how do they take a game like phantom hourglass and like just let people play it again, because, like, it, it just won't be the same with the way it's designed. The super gimmicks. There are some super gimmicks that need to touch screen in the Gen 4 Pokemon games. I think Gen 4 is pretty easy to get around. Like, wasn't the big thing with that, it was just the, it was, like, the, the, the watch? That was pretty lame, too, if honestly. Poffin making. I don't think many people will care very much if they axe Poffin making. They'll probably just make you spin the control stick or something. Zombies in the desert. Like, there's some way- you can- you can cheat a little bit for, like, gimmick- the gimmicky mini-games. But, like, when it's, like, the base- main gameplay, like... Like, for instance, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. If they- if, say, like, they, like, uh, made that, like, a download- downloadable remaster on the Switch. That would be pretty easy to do. They'd probably just take out the touchscreen gimmick uh, that you do with the bosses because the, the the devs didn't like that anyway, so they took that out of the two future games. And like the other screens in the DS Castlevanias were just used for I don't have a bomb. How do I? Gah! Can't find more bombs. God damn it! You still have magic seals, PTSD. Everyone thinks because I dislike the magic seals that I seem to think they're super hard. And they were hard when I used a mouse, let's be fair. <laughs> when yeah, I had to use a mouse, but... A lot of people, when, when, I, when I talked about in my review video on the Yellow Channel, a lot of people think I was complaining about how hard it was. It's like, no, my point was that, like, they added nothing. And they were just a, just a gimmick of its time, basically. Ah. I don't know, I need the book to get in there. Let's see what the item over here is. A heart container, okay. 
Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save warp. All right, chat, since I'm apparently a directionless moron that people will be telling me that I am for years to come once this is uploaded, where do I need to go right now? Cough, cough, battle frontier. <laughs> people will never let that go, and I can't say I blame them. Uh, as someone who just finished the Castlevania games, I agree, it was just an annoying future feature. It was just, uh... A uh, feature of its time, really. Lake needs one bomb, each for two spots. I don't have bombs, though, is the problem. What do you think? You can buy bombs from the shop southeast of Link's house, probably. Oh, that's the one by Lake Hylia, right? Well, yeah, I guess I could go to the lake. Can't do some of the Dark World stuff because I need the pearl. I have the damn boomerang. Use it, Christian. Ah! Ugh! This is some great... <sighs> okay. Alright, let's try this again. She's just gone to the freaking right. That's where the shop was. Death number five. I don't think you're counting properly. Y'all don't even know how much I died. You all counting the deaths like they mean something to me. I was unaware that I put hyper intense speed run in the in the in the title of the stream. She just made me buy this. Buy a heart. Don't ask where where or who it came from. Hmm. Okay, so I got the bombs now. I can go back to the desert as well. Puppy lock count as a death? That was a save warp. That doesn't count. You are hyper intense. Everything's a challenge. Everything's a cold calculated challenge. Remember, when you play video games on the internet, on Twitch or YouTube... Remember, if you're not playing optimally 100% of the time... God damn it, these guys really need to go. They're ugh. Like they're lagging it a bit, it's really annoying. You have to play absolutely perfectly. You can't just play for fun. That's ridiculous. That's not what video games are about. Remember. Okay, that hit me. This is esports. Cave is a fairy, don't bother. I think it'd be okay to open up a fairy, considering how things are going. Like I said, this game- some of this game's later enemies have some weird- have some pretty cruel damage output. Oh crap. Ugh. Grass makes me slow here- come on! Oh, these things! This doesn't help that I hate- I absolutely hate the level 1 sword in this game so much. Oof. Alright, here we go. Okay, can you- can you please get out- get out of the way? Some trolly enemies. Oh, now you give me a bomb. Thanks. Get get out of the way. Get out of the way. I don't think anyone will miss Z moves. Yeah. I'm not gonna miss Z moves. Let's see how things go. By the way, something I don't think I really talked about. What do people? Th what do y'all think about the Switch Lite? You go ahead and post your answers while I, uh, get a heart container. Yippery! Here we go, here we go. Big money, big money, big money. A heart piece! Alright, I'm gonna stop and check them off every time I open a chest to build suspense. Because y'all want that, apparently. <gasps> I got another one! Made a heart. More booms. Come to think of it, did I even check off the booms? Are the booms even on here? I don't think they are. Nah, I don't see them. More booms. I was already full of booms. Hang on a second. There's not, there wasn't a bombable wall behind it. No, there isn't. A switch. In this cave increased the value of all other chests. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. 
But the thing I find weird about the announcement of the Switch Lite, and this also happened when the when the 2DS, the original 2DS got announced, I, a lot of people were just mad, and I don't understand why. Like, does anyone remember just, like, the outrage when, when the original 2DS w just got announced? Everyone was like, this is stupid, why would I buy this when I already have a 3DS? And it's like, it's, it's not for you, buddy. That's, that's not the point. Like, I don't know, it just, it just seems, seems to me where, like, it's very obvious that it's, like, intended as, like, a, as, like, a cheaper alternative. I don't know what people were really getting mad over. Let's see. Now give me a chest in here. Red rupee! Glad I spent money on bombs to get that. Alright, I may as well just save warp considering where I am. Since I, ha I have a bomb- I have bombs now, I may as well go back to the desert and check that chest. It could be the book in there for all we know. It was a logical conclusion to make a full handheld switch. Now the new 3DS, that was something I think d d people should could w could rightfully complain about because that was kind of stupid. Let's be real. Like, what reason? Like, remember? I think it was like Nintendo of America. They like they even purposely like delayed the release of the new 3DS in in America or North America simply because 3DS regular 3DS sales were already stable. That that was what they said apparently. So yeah, they waited to release the better one because you already people are buying already buying enough right now, so it don't matter. The desert idiot. The only reason I got a new 3DS was because my old one wasn't reading game cards. The reason I got mine was because I wanted I, I wanted to play Xenoblade, and um, I just so happened to catch that one lone Majora's Mask one. You know, like I said, people were people were buying that thing like crazy and selling it online because they made so few of them. And I saw it, I'm like, you know what? I'll take it. I'll just might, might, might as well. YOLO. And I like the thing. It was nice. Go in the desert now. What did the new 3DS even add? Nothing. Nothing. It didn't even come with. It didn't even come with a freaking charger for some reason. Like. Actually, the the new two the I bought a new 2DS XL, new is in the name, not condition. But um, that came with a charger, so I guess they did it for 2DS anyway. Higher frame rate, I guess that was true. Like uh, Sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon ran a bit better on it, to be honest. And you can play Super Nintendo games. Yeah, the new the new 2D or new 3DS. This kind of just seemed like a bad idea for some reason. The double battles still lag. Oh yeah, double battles were... <sighs> Alright. Save warp again. Alright, folks, where, where should I go now? I don't think I can really... I can't go to the Tower of Hera, because I need the lantern to get up Death Mountain. I can't complete... I guess I can enter Dungeon 1. It sure was fun rebuying Super Metroid on the new 2DS XL for the gazillionth time. Yeah. Uh, you know what I found funny about the Wii U's Virtual Console? Was that, why do I keep taking this path when I know it's just an awful idea? Force of habit, God damn it! <laughs> yeah. It lags, the grass slows me down, and they just deal so much damage. What was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, the uh, Wii U Virtual Console. Now, I don't understand why, but they made it so that, hey, if you bought this game on the Wii Virtual Console, then you get a discount on the Wii U version. It's like, how about you uh, let me download the thing I already paid for? How about that? How about I think that's a better idea than a discount. Does anyone else? Anyone? Anyone else think that's a better idea? 
You know what else would be great? If the Switch had a virtual console. <laughs> Instead of just, uh, some NES games with bad input delay. <laughs> but that means no money. Hello, Mr. Sarasa, blah, blah, blah. Want something free? Go earn the Green Pendant in Dark Palace. Oh, pff. It's in Dark Palace. I got booms. When has Nintendo ever had good ideas? Yeah. Okay. That's the magic powder. Can, can I get the... the magic meter upgrade right now, or do I need something else to get that? Anyways, red rupee. Red rupee. You know, before I open those chests, mentally I was just like, I'm gonna get that. I should have said that aloud so I could have looked 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 smart for a second. Now I, now it just looks like I made that up after I already opened them. But at least with magic powder I can get that guy is a that guy is using dig right there. Look at him. He's coming out of ground shooting arrows. Also shiny Wobbuffet. Check it out. Let's go in dungeon one, everybody. Red rupees everywhere. For every red rupee, my chances increase of getting something else. Catch a pog. Grabby! Oh wait, no, this is Harvest Moon. What am I saying? I really I really should use this boomerang more. Like, I'm kind of just conditioned in this game to never use the boomerang, because it's not that great in the vanilla game, but enemy randomizer, it's like, use it for God's sakes. You have the level two one. It's not terrible. And that's a fish. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, people make a lot of videos, Mina. And I think it best not to comment on everything. Oh, no, 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 that's not the way I want to go. I thought I was going to walk off to it automatically. Here we go. This is... The light world dungeon theme, so there's still a pendant in here. Is it? Yeah, that's the light world theme. I like the light world theme, light world dungeon theme more anyway. Let me see what I can get. Big key, that's not terrible. A randomizer. I'm just a regular farmer. Don't judge me for not being the best. I can open the big. I can open the big chest now. I guess. It's weird how there's just random masters, fake master swords everywhere now. Also free red rupee. Once I get them Pegasus boots, I know where to get the Master Sword anyway. Need a book and Master Sword. Ah. Was there a... I, I, I need to check these pots. There might be like a key hidden in one. I don't remember if it's here. Give me... Map! I need that. Oh, search myself slightly. All my playthroughs are very fun, and I'm glad you had fun with them. Are you planning to go back to Crystal Clear anytime soon? Probably, but there's a lot of games I want to play. Lots and lots of games. Oh, God. <laughs> Fan of these god dang sword. Too much games, too little time. That's the rules. I mean, why would I play why would I play that game when I'm too busy playing replaying Link to the Past for like the fifth time? 
And after that, I'll be uh, we're, we're gonna be replaying Harvest Moon Mineral Town for the thousandth time. Ooh! I was not expecting that. Caught off guard. I sounded like a weird ooh right there. Maybe I'll be... What you got for me, man? A compass and a map is fire-locked in Misery Mire. Well, okay, mister. Whatever you say. That's a one-way thing. Harvest Moomin. I wish that was a thing. Ah! That did- that looked very unnatural. That's compass. Uh, guess I could head in there, but what's over here? Wait, if I go down, that's the dark room and I can't get out. Yeah, I shouldn't go in there. I need- I need the, uh... I need lantern. How can you even randomize Harvest Moon? You, like, do you randomize the character's schedules? Their dialogue? Alright, it's dark in here, too. I think I've done all I can do in here. Okay, random crops. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I think we talked about that last time I played, too. This one is going good, but also a bit tedious. Le their likes and dislikes. Everybody likes weed. Everybody likes golden lumber. All right, where do you think I should go right now? Okay, yeah, that's a pendant. That's the first crystal. Tower of Hera's there. You should go to the graveyard. Thieves Town. I can't go to the Dark World. I turn into a puppy. I need the pearl. Randomized TV. They, imagine having all the episodes of Star Lily Bandit Girl shuffled. Nothing would change. Everybody likes weed, Christian of Canada. Okay. Where did, where did you say I should head? Um, I immediately forgot. <laughs> See, if you're watching me, you shouldn't be surprised by these things. If you expect it to be some intense gaming moments, You'd hear- I'd be opening a monster. And then be- and then get ready to go, dude. I love Farmer on the map, so cute. Farmer is cute. But look at- look at- look at his walking animation. Well, like, so he's like, Let's change? Well, this is a randomizer. It's just everything's randomized, and I'm playing as a farmer from Harvest Moon. For some reason! God, those shadow things look so weird moving around. Graveyard. Thank you, Lily. I keep forgetting. <laughs> you told me, and I forgot. I wouldn't watch him play Super Mario 64. You wouldn't watch me play Mario 64? Why, do you think I'm just awful? Superman 64. Oh, when you wrote SM64, you meant Superman. Well, you're gonna have... See, you can see how I made that mistake. Does anybody even like... Like... Superman 64 is one of those games where it's like, everybody's, like, made a review of it. Most of the reviews of it are just, like, you know, showing, like, the first level and how, how bad it is. Kind of like with uh, Bubsy 3D... If you want to see a good video on Bubsy 3D, I, I recommend I recommend uh, looking at Nitro Rad's review of it because he actually goes through the entire game. Like it's not he doesn't just show the first level for ten minutes. I want to be the guy. A angry video game nerd made a second part to his ten year old video on that game and played a completion. Yeah, I did see that. I really like that video. I'm glad he did that one. I don't know which one of these leads me to anything. <laughs> that one probably there. Oh wait, I remember where this goes now. Thank you for telling me about it. Uh, this is not a fun place to drop into. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, go. Get. 
Jesus. Okay. You guys ready for big money? Round two? Round three? Round five? Get your predictions. We got three chests. This is gonna open up everything, I'm telling you. We're gonna find the lantern. Let it be known. Fire rod. Ruby. Three red rupees, green and red rupees. Oh, you're gonna be wrong, because I'm gonna tell you right now. Watch this. Watch this right now. Lantern. Okay? I'll probably buy a few lanterns with that, so I'm technically not wrong. Lantern. No, that's not a lantern. Lantern. That's a key. Well, that was okay. Alright. Well, where do I go next? You can hit up Zora's domain now. Oh, you're right. I can buy I can buy the flippers and I can get those other items there because I have the flippers. I need to get the item that is the flippers, you know. And you can see King Ripoff. I can't wait to pay 500 rupees for 10 arrows or or a green rupee. He'll sell you 5 rupees. We shall see. Man, I want to try and beat at least one dungeon. This is don't forget, this is a defeat Ganon run. <laughs> I gotta defeat Ganon. How am I gonna do that? I need to get the mythic tools for that. I don't even know where the hell I'm going in this damn map. I keep pushing the wrong fucking button for my sword like a genius. 500 rupees for a Magikarp. Teehee. Ugh. But you know, since y'all seem like talking about them Pokemon challenge videos so much, we'll say that maybe I'm working on something. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just gonna take out my- dangle my keys in front of the kitties. He didn't hit up the hobo yet. I for- I- I always forget about the hobo. And you know why? It's because I didn't know about the hobo for the longest time. I honestly didn't even realize he was a thing. But I'll do that after. You can't fool us. Didn't I try going over here before? Yeah, I did. How the f- Can I- Ah, I thought I could glitch my way through. Cheese it. Okay, the guy under the bridge. Can I not get to Zora's domain without uh, the Pegasus boots? You can jump the ledge. You're fucking right. Forgive me. I probably should have mentioned this, like, at the start of the stream to garner more some sympathy. But I did not have a good night of sleep last night. Like, I slept horribly. I'm gonna have to go to... Hopefully get to bed early, because I gotta get up early for work tomorrow. Try going up here again. Okay, let's, uh... Okay! Cut that out. Cut that out, mister. Cut that out. Is Picasso playing the game, or is it, or is Lily Black? We're all playing the game. This is a team effort. Therefore, we share, we all share the blame. I can heal here, right? I should do that. If it was me playing. I'd know where to go. Oh, okay, Mister. You should make your own Twitch channel, then, huh? Come to think of it, doesn't Amazon own Twitch? How did I do, how did I fucking do that? This is where I this is where I where people start typing up the a paragraph on how they're never going to watch me again because it looks like I'm trying playing bad on purpose for views. Again, those are real those are real accusations I get sometimes. Whenever I sometimes when I just mess up, clearly I'm just doing it on purpose for views. You mean you aren't. It's like, why do people think that? That's just something I never get. Especially, it's especially so on, like, the older Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Remember when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, hey, yeah, I don't know how the fuck I didn't see this, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ugh. Remember when I started Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm like, hey, I haven't played, I haven't played the card game in, like, forever. And then people are like, why is he making so many newbie mistakes? It's like he hasn't played the card game in forever. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like I haven't. 
Esprit gets salty to be doing this on purpose. The Moon Pearl! That is very, very, very good. Please don't understand that people can make mistakes. I don't make mistakes, I make masterpieces. Let's see. Thieves Town time. How dare you know not don't know about everything at all times. But why didn't you use potions in the Ditto video? These guys are Jesus, they're walking on water! They can't get out of the water! They're mermaid Jesus! Forgot the heart. What? Oh, you mean I forgot to check it on the thing? Yeah, you're right. He act like he got bang on Google. Who's that? I keep trying to press the Pegasus boots button. I don't have the Pegasus boots. <laughs> exactly. Bum, 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 bum. That's the cane of the red cane. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't remember the cane, the name of the canes at all. I just called them the red and blue one. Remember when YouTube videos was all about having fun? But remember, you can only have fun for 9 minutes and 59 seconds. Any more than that, and you're just a sellout. That's how it works. The rules of the, the rules of the jungle. You mean in 2007. Oh, okay. It's, it's alright. Am I- did I count the heart pieces correctly? Blue cane makes you damage his enemy. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Uh... I go down here, right? I miss watching 10-minute three-part videos of anime. Oh, man, that takes me back. Remember when you- remember the days when you watched anime on YouTube? And, like, you- 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 you would never be able to find all the episodes in order. Like, I remember when I try when I, like, uh, w tried to watch Card Captor Sakura on YouTube. It was like, hey, look, there's episode one, there's episode two, there's episode three, episode eight, episode 17, and episode 47. Wow, I could really follow along this. Trying to watch Haruhi on YouTube is torture. Can you just jump through that? But it could. Man. Man, I can, can I tell you guys something funny? When I, back in the the days of YouTube watching watching anime on YouTube, like I said, I watched Card Captor Sakura, but like I did it on I I do it on the family computer. Like um, I do it on the family computer when I got home from school and no one else was home. Because, like, that show was so girly that, like, I was afraid that if anyone saw me, I'd be, like, it, this was, like, a lot, like, uh, what, 2006? Maybe even before that? But, like, I was afraid that, like, my mom would think I was gay or something. I mean, obviously, that's very, that's a very stupid, it sounds like an ignorant thing to say now, but in my, uh, 2006 five mind, that's, that, that's just how it was. Don't be ashamed of the magical girl. Ugh. My coworkers caught me watching Sailor Moon at work the other day. My mom watched Card Captor Sakura with me. But I was a but you don't understand, I was a man and I can only like manly things. I can't look girly. Probably had something to do with that I'm also the oldest of four. Y'all know how it goes. Y'all know how it goes. Oh hi, Lady Pathetic. You're just in time to join join me wa join watching me dying a thousand times. Welcome to Harvest Moon Farmer Explorer's Grape Flavored Hyrule. That sounds like a good drink. Grape flavored Hyrule. I want to I want to down something like that right now. I say that, I used to do that. I have, now I have card capture Sakura anime figurines. 
in my room on display for everyone to see. Dylan is younger. Yes. I am the oldest. Why don't you hire some elves? To <laughs> hire some elves to find chests for you. I got the moon pearl, actually. I should just... I should just, uh... Moon pearl and flippers. Maybe I can pop in uh, Dark World Dungeon 2 for a little bit. Got any milk in your closet? <sighs> I don't know how Andrew did that. I still have no idea what... What he even meant by that. For those unaware, um, Andrew once, like, he came over to borrow a game, like, during the- What the hell is that doing in there?! Jesus Christ, walking in tall grass in Hyrule is more dangerous than walking in tall grass in Pokemon. Uh, yeah, but Andrew came to borrow a game, and he went to look in my room, and then he- after he left, he came back, like, a few minutes later being like, Yeah, I forgot my- I forgot my milk, I left it in your closet. I'm like, What? Like, I, I, like, there's not even any room in my closet to put anything, set anything. How do you do that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's get away from them. A modern classic. Got milk? Let's get in here. And then the Thunderstone didn't work on Pikachu. That entire thing was scripted, I tell you. Oh, wait, oh. I can't enter this without the mirror, that's right. Like, it won't let me, because if I go all the- I, yeah, the portal doesn't work like that. Urgh. So Russell, a tablet. Where should I head right now? Be having the moon pearl here opens up a lot, but I don't know- you could hit up Thieves Town. Yeah, I just keep saying that, and honestly, you're right. I can do that now. I don't have an excuse. Well, I always have an excuse. Always have an excuse. I mean, clearly, I must be doing something right. You're all still here watching after God knows how long. That looks so weird and uncomfortable. Bang, boom, straight to the Moomin. Moomins are adorable and fun. Wince. That one is shiny. Oh. Okay, maybe stop that. Those jazz hand guys are called Money Man in German. Because they make it rain with the money. Oh no, I need the black. Can I even get into Thieves Town? Can't open up the portal from the light world without the without the second gloves. Um, I need the hook shot to get over there, don't I? Oh crap! You can't get into Thieves Town. Well, well, well. Look who was wrong about something, Mister. I know where to go at all times. How does it feel to make one minor mistake and have someone never let you forget about it? You taste that? That's the taste of YouTube. Being a you YouTuber. I almost said YouTube fame, but I don't know. I, I, I kind of hate how that sounds. Alright. If I get some rupees, I guess I can do that. What are you talking about? It's your fault. Oh no. I mis I mispronounced a word. Years ago. You know what's funny is... On the newest uh, video I did uh, on Yume Nikki, I've already had quite a few people get... Let's say, upset with how I pronounce the game's title. It's like, no, Christian. It's called Yume Nikki. It's not called Yume Nikki. God. You gave me ten arrows. Wonderful. But you pronounced it right. No, no, that's not how it works, Lily. You see, I'm, I'm, you, I'm Mr. YouTuber, and I say things wrong. It's still your fault. Judging you and Moomin. I was looking at chat, thinking I could just continue down. Alright, Hammer, help me out there. The internet's a fun place. I love everybody. I love you. You pronounced the game title right. You mispronounced Motosuke, though. The T is silent. 
TSU is pronounced Sue. Freaking not. I thought this. I thought my viewers were weebs. Okay, Stalfos. Actually, from what I understand, saying Modosuki or Modotsuki is technically correct. Both ways are correct, but I just wanted to say it that way. Yeah. Madotsuki. Madotsuki. Okay, up or down here? What do you think? Ah. Uh, me a heart, yeah. Yeah. Is this the Legend of Zelda ROM hack? It's randomizer. Pop. Get away from me. Oh, I need that. I should probably put the boomerang back on, for God's sakes. I can get something from the pyramid, actually, can I? Japanese does indeed have accents. Oh, you know them jalapeno people and their weird language. See, I'm cultured. I know, I know you're not how the J is pronounced. Okay, that's a bad spot for that to be at all. Can that even... Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's, that's real fair. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I absolutely love it. Ugh. Go. Just walk past. Yeah, I know. But I have to take the damage now. It was Red Rupee. Jalapeno people. The Jalapenes. Any enemy random uh, rando is always fair. Why don't just Stealthos just, just drop from the sky? Like they're all just they're all just on the battle bus. Where are we dropping, boys? This game is a battle royale, but I'm not a participant. Let's look over here. What's in this? Oh, come on! This again? This isn't fair. Oh, fuck off. Just, just, just get it out of the way. How do these... How? How do they spawn in? I don't understand it. I'm gonna buy a shield. Now I get now I got a shield. Look at me. Look at me, everybody. The game is out to get you. Now I guess I can go up here. Can I get to the skull ring? The small shield that blocks nothing. It makes me feel safe though. Have you met Woeful Ike? I don't know who that is. Is he a nice fella? Imagine if they were insta-kill. Imagine. Imagine a very unfun version of your favorite game. It's simple, really. All you need to do is just uh, put Kaizo in front of the title. Yeah, show me the big money. Big money! Watch this. Watch this right here. Give me, give it. Ah, oh, booms. Legend of Moomin, Friends of Moomin Valley. It would be fun. Okay, I think it's time to save warp. All right. Okay. Go for a. I'm not gonna get a dungeon done this episode. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this going slow because I'm bad? Or is it- or can I fair- how- how much blame can I place on the RNG? None, you didn't activate the chief code. Obtain booms. Hey, it's going alright. You suck. <laughs> None of it. All of it. 5 out of 10 from 5 out of 10. You are bad, you can place no blame. You're old already, Christian. I just don't understand them darn fangled kids and their video games anymore. Okay. I feel like I need to make... Wow, the shield just, like, it's floating in front of me from the side. Look at that. Mind powers. You have bad RNG on purpose. Yeah, it's true. It's what I do. 
All right, what do you? What should I do? Can I even open a portal near near Thieves Town? Because I'm pretty sure you need the hobo. Yes, keep forgetting to do that. What bridge is it again? It's uh the one down and to the right a bit, right? Yeah, I think it is. Just play key sanity. I don't think I can handle a key sanity. I don't think I can do that. Randomized entrances. This this randomizer doesn't have randomized entrances yet, does it? Because that would be too chaotic. Too chaotic. Too 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 chaotic. Can hop down from there. Should be chests there. The Great Fairy Cave and the Lake. Oh yeah. Does she have chests? Oh, that's just a red rupee there. Cause I, she, you're talking about the fairy that just like upgrades your bomb count and arrows, right? Oh, re really? These things shouldn't be allowed to exist. I don't like them. Yeah, that's that's cool. Real cool. You should do Zelda X Metroid randomized. People suggest that, but I have never played Super Metroid, so. That's not a good idea. Right, chess over here. Gonna blow it up with a boom. I am the farmer. She also has Isaacs. That's fairies. Fairy godparents! Okay, so no chess then, basically. Yo, I'm not running a charity here. So I guess they turned it back into buying the pouch upgrades. Well played. We'll play Super Metroid already. Oh yeah, let me just do that. Let me just uh, go. Let me just play all those 200 games people want me to play right now. We're gonna do that right this afternoon. Do it. Play SM. What is SM? Is it Superman or Super Mario 64? Super Metroid? You forgot about the hobo again. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Hell yeah, 48 hour stream. Play Secret of Mana. Play everything. You know, lately there actually have been a lot of games that like... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, just do that. Do that, buddy. There's been a lot of games that like I've been thinking about like as an excuse to play them. I could just make a video on them at some point. Like, guys, guess what? We're gonna do a whole Final Fantasy retrospective, starting with the first game on NES. You're all gonna listen to my first-time analysis. And then I'll get to, like, uh... What is it, like... Hang on a second, let me get the hobo stuff first. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give stuff! 50 rupees. Whatever. There's, like, two numbered Final Fantasies. And, um... Where should I go now? Tell me where to go. Ugh. But, like, there's two final, two numbered Final Fantasies they are just MMOs, right? It's 14 and... Is it 11 or 12 that's also the MMO? And 13 was the movie trilogy, right? 14, 11. Like, if I did a, if I legit did a full Final Fantasy retrospective, should I just stop at, like, 10 or something? Yes, 13 trilogy. Stop at, skip 11, 14 was released twice. Stop before you begin. Stop at 12. I never understood, why is it that two of the numbered games are MMOs? Like, why didn't they just call them, like, Final Fantasy Online or Final Fantasy Online 2? Why did they have to be, like, like, numbered entries? Like, Final Fantasy has, like, t a quadrillion amount of spin-offs anyway, doesn't it? No one knows, not even Square. And then they made numbered sequels to their numbered sequels, like Final Fantasy XIII 2. That is my favorite title of all video games. Uh, that's right, 10... There's also a 10 2, isn't there? X2 is a wild ride. Oh, you mean 10 2 by that, yeah. Wish I had right now. 
Final Fantasy is weird. Remember to have your hands attend to. Oh, right, that thing. Take the Dark World portal in this area. You mean the one at the swamp? Or marshlands type place? Think that would work? Final Fantasy has, has some waifus. Let's not be, let's not fool ourselves here. But I've never, I don't think I've ever completed a Final Fantasy game now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I remember uh, borrowing Final Fantasy VIII from my cousin when I was a kid, but I didn't know how to read. I just thought the music's in, and uh, the music sounded awesome, and the game looked cool. Hmm. Where should I go? Stay in the swamp area. You can bomb a cave open there. I know what cave you're thinking about, and I can't believe I didn't go to it sooner. I can't believe you didn't suggest it sooner. Really, this is all your fault, not mine. Dang it, come on. Yeah, run away from mummies. I keep suggesting it, but you keep ignoring me, Baka. Only my wife can call me Baka. Legend of Dragoon is the true best Final Fantasy. I hear good things about that game. All right, here we go. It's big money time. Lightning round. Lightning round two. Lightning round 13 two. Let's do it. What do you think? Lamp, lamp, lamp. Place your bets now. Well, I'm getting a drink. I'll leave you all in suspense. I did not check the, the red cane. What else did I not check here? I just forget to check shit. I didn't check the shield. That's important. Arrows, mirror, rupees. Lamp oil? Rope? It's all yours, my friend. As long as you've got enough rupees. Alright, look. There's one of those right now. Ten arrows! A regular boomerang! I always wanted that! Oh, wow! More rupees! Wow, this was a shit room. <laughs> that was awful. It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough moomin. All right. Now where we go? Um, I can go to the bottom right corner since I have the uh, the flippers. I don't. I'm kind of out of ideas. Hit up the Palace of Darkness. You're right. I could do that as well. Update tracker. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Yeah, you can't get into Thieves Down. Yeah, you just nonchalantly say that after you told me to go to it. <laughs> you know what's funny is, like, I, ne I never really understand in all seriousness why there's a lot of people that just, like, they want they want to be right about things on the internet. Just, to, like, the most irrelevant stuff. Like, a lot of times, I, like, I get comments on, like, two-year-old Pokemon videos, and people are like, why did you use X move at X time? That was fucking stupid, and I'm never watching you again. I'm like, who cares? It's like, why is this an issue? I don't know, it's just kind of weird. It's also funny when they get it wrong, too. I still remember one guy who got mad at me for not using a psychic move on a psychic type, saying that, like, it would have been super effective. Why did you do that? It's like, I don't know. Because I wanted to win. Get Moomin to fight them. Never challenge Moomin to, to a fight. Moomin will take you down. It's all a bit harsh. Unharsh. Humans make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Should we forgive them? Or inject them with sin? And I'm up here now. Alright. And here, I guess, we can take a quick look. Did you know? A tree typically has many secondary- Oh god, I remember this guy. He's- he's- I don't want to talk to him. Yeah! Why do I talk to him? I always talk to him. Oi. New mana is a disappointment. We'll get to new mana. I'll show the art. 
just hearts. There's one of those statues. Statues? <clears throat> Pardon me. What do you mean? How long, Christian, gonna cry over new mana? Don't worry, I already did that off stream. You don't have to worry about me. You don't have to worry at all. Ah! Get away. And how do I get through this part again? I don't remember. You just walk through the things. Yeah. I believe the game is just going to be called Story of Seasons Mineral Town. Or Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, so it should be hard to find the art. Like, we know what every character looks like now. It's easy to find. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's getting a little... <clears> throat> official Casper Gamer Tears. That's not the right... Ah! Get out of here. Get out of here, buckaroo. And how do I get there again? Right, that way. Harvest Moon got rebranded. I thought Story of Seasons was a separate game. Oh, you don't know? Like, um... The company that develops Harvest Moon... I gotta do the thing again. Ugh. This is an annoying little fella. The company that develops Harvest Moon... Once they, uh, were finally able to afford to publish it themselves, Natsume wouldn't, wouldn't, like, uh... Like, Natsume owns the name Harvest Moon for the West, and they didn't want to give it up. So they just, like, no, we'll keep it, we'll just develop our own games now. So they just rebranded it, basically. So Story of Seasons is Harvest Moon. I'm surprised a lot of people don't know this, because I, I feel like I, I mentioned it, like, so many times. All right. Wow. Wow. This is like the dark grape... Dark grape palace. That's what it is. Grapes. The grape escape. Okay, what did that switch do? It opens the way back. That's right. Welcome to Vomit Dungeon. We'll see what we can do. Can I- I have the hammer, so can I complete this dungeon? Can I beat this dungeon? I should take out this, uh, thing. Wait, no, there's a dark part. I need the lantern. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We'll- we'll get as far as I can in this dungeon. Or should I- a piece of heart requires a green pendant. Okay. Do you guys think I should go until I find an item that opens up a lot? Like the mirror. What does this hack change? Well, this is a randomizer, and I just changed- I just randomized the enemies and colors in my, uh... In my- I made it so that I play as the Harvest Moon guy as well. It's not like a re redesign hack or anything like that. Damn, this boomerang's pretty lit. Yeah. Wah. Okay, that was a little- Little bumpy dumpy situation right there. I know as soon as I get the Pegasus boots, I can get a sword upgrade, and I I absolutely can't stand the level one sword in this game. It's just, ugh. It feels so wonky to me, and I'm like the only one that thinks that way. It's probably because, like, I preferred Minish Cap as, like, my 2D Zelda definitive experience, I guess. I just like how the sword worked in that. I forgot about the statue, too. The statue we talk about. I just gotta hit a switch, or I gotta kill these things. Yeah, it looks like I gotta kill them. That's a bit annoying. Mimic rooms. Okay. These are supposed to be here, aren't they? Okay. I don't think these things are working properly. There's like... Oh, okay. That, that thing is. I want a randomizer for Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Yeah. It'll be alright, fun. Whoa. Let's get this... Ah! Die! <gasps> 
I got the lantern. I think that's the I I can beat this dungeon now. Should I go for it? Do I have what it takes? I can also just go down there and since I have the hammer. This is probably like the only time this shortcut actually works. You still need the bow. Oh, you're right. You're right. I need the bow. Well, I could poke my head in a little more, because the lantern makes it so that I have access to the Tower of Hera now. Do I need the bow to do that? Wait, no. Hammer time. You can still clear a large chunk of the dungeon. You need the bow to get into the dark floor. Okay. Maybe I should do a little bit of this and then call it. And then we'll take a break and do some Harvest Moon. Seems like it'd be, it is a good episode, a good first episode situation here. God, this place looks so weird with different enemies and colors. It really does feel all new. What would I do without Lily? Lily's not even here every stream. Eeg. He'd cry. I don't want to eat those things right there. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's a key. It's not terrible. Wait a second. Did I miss getting that? I could have gotten that. That's... Uh, where I picked up the lantern, I could have bombed the wall to the left, right? Mod, 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 mod. Please don't. You don't want to be a mod, Lily? As acceptable. I'd rather not be. What, you don't want that responsibility? Everybody wants to be a mod. Just hop down here, can I? I don't have the mirror, so I can't quick quick warp. Lots of people want to be super, want to be mods. It's the best thing ever. Oh, I got a shield! That's great! Well, there's a quick warp. Being a mod is a trap. I only accept it because vanity. Well, now, now, now that I see people saying they want to be mods, I'm not going to now. Because I'm just that type of person. Christian is going to have a hundred mods soon. Well, I don't really expect much from people being mods, to be honest. Like, just, I don't know, if someone's, if someone's just, like, spamming or something, you can, they can just get rid of them. Like, I'm not, uh, I'm not, like, expecting you to, like, thoroughly police every, everything for me. Like, as long as people aren't being an, bad people... You know, that's all you gotta really look out for. Ah. Like, I'm not gonna get- I'm not gonna assemble a team of mods and be like, Hey, here's my opinions on the latest thing. If anyone says anything that I disagree with, you get rid of them forever. It's like a mafia. We're gonna make them disappear. Ah, missed. Oh, this is very annoying. <laughs> what? What, what, what? What did you just add there? What? What? I mean, you don't want a police force? Mods are Christian's hit squad. Add pr Christian's hit. Really? The auto mod caught that? My name gets me in all sorts of trouble. How about some hired goons like Take Two? <laughs> That's a very timely reference. That's right. Hey, if you guys don't like my YouTube channel, I'll hire people to come harass you. I don't really know what's going on with that whole Take-Two thing. I mean, I already don't like that company very much, so... Honestly, it wouldn't shock me if they really did that.
would they do? Apparently, like, uh, some person who was supposedly, like, leaking stuff. Uh, apparently, like, they sent, like, private investigators to his house to question him, and it was really, really weird. Like, I don't know all the details. I'm not gonna pre pretend that I do. I mean, it's, oh, it's over Borderlands 3 as well, like, um... Aside from Take Two, like I honestly despise Gearbox, and I—they're one of those companies that like I wouldn't give money to them, even if they made something I wanted. All right. Oh. oh. At least we don't have to worry about bouncy boys here anymore. Okay, should be able to just use a bomb here and get a move on. Yeah, but he was going on their twi private Twitch account. See, that's the thing. Like, it's a big, it's kind of a he said, she said type of deal. Okay, can I really not do that? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> it worked. Yeah, that guy in charge of a uh, gearbox, Randy, what's his face? He does not seem like a very, let's say, um, charismatic person. I don't want him tweeting at me. Can I do this without the Pegasus boots? Yeah, I can. Ah, I... Okay. Run, 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 run. Uh oh, what was I doing? I was just holding up while looking at chat. Okay, yeah, let's get ready to do this again. Get ready to do this again. Not to mention, there's kind of been some shady things in the past involving the company Gearbox, and it's like, I don't feel like I'd want, I really want to support them. And I find it weird that stuff like that doesn't really get talked about a whole lot. Like, some of the stuff that Randy fella has apparently been, like, accused of doing, like, that doesn't get nearly, I feel like that doesn't get nearly as much attention as something be like, oh, Nintendo took down a fan game or something. You know, that's probably a bad example, because that one's, that's an example that'll probably make people mad. But you kind of get what I'm saying. I'm not trying to imply that, like, Nintendo can do no wrong. Probably shouldn't use Nintendo as an example at all, because then people think the comp uh, think it's a different conversation. Oh, another bottle! That's nice. I should probably mark the freaking lamp, is what I should do. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is, um... I think another bottle. It's something I already... I need to click again. B-bottle! Are dino chicken nuggets still the official snack in the stream? No, regular chicken nuggets. You can also get the half magic demon. I figured as much. I was thinking about that earlier, but not a whole lot of, uh... Okay. Bad spot for that type of enemy. Okay, not terrible. You can get two more chests here, and that's about it. Should I use this key here? Is this the door where you need to use the key? No, west. Oh, west. I thought you said west. You know. <laughs> Half the time I look at chat, I just walk into a freaking wall. All right, all right. Well, there's a lot of things different game companies do that, like, I don't fully agree with. Or like very much. But then there's just like the downright scummy stuff that makes me never want to buy from them again. Like, oh god, Activision. They're in the news again this week, but... Oh, the okay, the bug catching net. That's not bad. That's not bad now that I found an extra bottle. Let me just, uh... Yeah, like, act I think like... Activision and EA, there's- I strictly have- like, I will avoid giving them money like the plague at this point. They just keep getting worse and worse as time goes on, too. Uh, do I want to know what Activision did this time? 
It's a big, big annoying thing about, uh, I guess it's microtransactions and the Crash Team Racing remake. I don't, I'm not into Crash at all, and I'm probably not going to be since they own it. But I guess, like, there was a big thing about that, because, like, they promised they wouldn't. And then they did, because they're Activision. And then they increased the price of a lot of things in the game store and be like, Ah, you can still earn it. You can still earn it by playing the game. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been seeing a lot of people are apparently very, very vocal about their, uh, disdain for that. Uh, it's just, I, the thing that, that, that really rubs me the wrong way, though, is the fact that, like, it's got, it's gotten to the point where companies just, like, they wait until after good reviews come out, and then they patch in the, the stuff they know makes people mad. It's just, oh, it feels so scummy. And that's the map. Okay. Let's see, we've been going almost two hours. You think, that's pretty much everything I'm gonna find here. Hmm. You think, uh... Have you heard of Wolfenstein Youngblood? I know that people don't like that, but I don't follow Wolfenstein at all. As I said on Dylan's stream, not lying about stuff that doesn't earn us money. Go ahead and do that right there. Um, so yeah, I have the, um, I have the lantern. So I can, uh, get quite a few things now. I have seen some clips of the wolf of Wolfenstein, honestly, and I, I can think I can imagine what people don't like about the writing from what I've seen. But again, you know, I haven't played it, I don't follow it, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all what's what. I'll leave that to the I'll leave that to the comment section. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Anyways, so with the lantern, I can go to Death Mountain for sure next time. Um I can check out more of the of the fir of dungeon one. Can't get back into the I can't get into dungeon two without the book though. Um, but yeah, I think I'm set up to make some more progress next time. Maybe a little slow, but I still really like playing randomizers. Like again, like it gives you it lets you just experience something new for the first time again. Like you know, whatever. Haha, <laughs> funny man get hit by a late game enemy and die multiple times. But whatever. Still pretty fun. I like I, I like I like the thrill of just like opening the chests and just getting a random item. But you know what I don't like is when I have to pay like $3.99 for said chests with random items. And boy, that tied in very well, didn't it? Was fun to watch. Well, I'm glad you had fun. So what the saying is you like loot boxes. Well, sounds like somebody wrote their comment before the punchline. <laughs> but anyways for the YouTube audience. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm definitely going to continue this. This is going to continue as a stream because um, I did the last uh, Link to the Past randomizer run as a recording and it was fun. But I wanted to do another, but like uh, I don't think I have time to work it in as a recording. I know some people get mad when I shift around something as a recording or stream, but uh, this is, I, I wanted to do a stream of this. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.